So what I'm doing is looking at the south elevation of the site and I can see the building levels that are here. So I'm guessing the topography came in at the right height and what I, I don't know but uh, you do is what the actual height of the building pads are. So what I'm going to do is uh, just re rename this building pad 2 and uh, then I could set the elevation for that building pad let's say uh, 840 feet or whatever the value is and what you should see is on this view if I scroll back I've got my terrain model and I've got two uh, building pads building pad 1, building pad 2 is horizontal levels so then if I were looking at my uh, site plan Again, I don't know exactly where the buildings are that you're you're modeling, but uh, let's assume it's over here somewhere. So if I were to say, okay, I'm going to go to building pad 1, I'm going to say VG, and just make sure that the topography is turned on in this view. And uh, I'm seeing a piece of it because the view graphics are the cut plane is cutting through uh, on that level, four feet above building pad one. So what I want to do is I want to go to um, view range. It's the building grid. So I want to move this up, but I can't move it up without and and have it have a higher value than this. So what I'm going to do is move that much higher and then move the cutting plane up to say uh, a little bit below it and apply and then I can see my site and then I think if I were to come in and I'm just guessing that you, it looked like you had like a buildings either side of this maybe, I'm, I might be wrong but from what I saw. So what I can do is under the massing in site if I said create a building pad and what I'll do is pick the kind of an outline of the shape that I want to create for the building pad and so I'm just going to assume that it's something like this could be could be any shape when I say I'm done that should be cutting through the model at that height. I'm going to place a section just so I can look through this. So if I say view section and uh, lost sight of it for a minute. Let me just go to where the building pad was somewhere something here. Place a section. Click on the section head just so I can see Let's go and I can see my my building pad is here on the site. Uh, the other lines are the crop zone, so you could extend that a bit in case there's something else to be seen. But that's basically what, what you're creating in order to place your building. And you see that on the properties, I, I put it on building pad 1 at an elevation of and it's at zero, but if I wanted to, you see, I can send it up and down by uh, changing the value here to adjust the, the height. Okay, so uh, let me just do it the other way so you can see what's going on. Picking the building pad itself. Um, if I said minus five feet, you see it moved down. Oops, sorry, when I move off of here, move down. Or if I said, let's set it at uh, 10 feet, move up from the level of the, of the that we call building pad 1, and it's actually extending the ground up. So I think that that was the setup for you to place your buildings on the site on a building pad.